All right, this lesson is on unicellular organisms. One of the organisms we're going to talk about today is the paramecium. That's what's in this picture here. Pretty cool. All right, so the objective for North Carolina, what North Carolina would like you to know, is to be able to compare the structures and life functions of single-celled organisms that carry out all of the basic functions of life. The essential question for today what are the characteristics of the following single-celled organisms? The Euglena, Amoeba, Paramecium, and Volvox. These are the four single-celled unicellular organisms we are going to talk about today. All right, so before we get into that, I wanted to go over two um, key terms that we should have mentioned in another lesson, and that is the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell. First thing I want you to do is just take a minute and look and see if you can see some things that are similar and some things that are different. Okay, so if you look, um, you notice that the eukaryotic cell is the cell that, it looks like the cell that we've been talking about. And it is. It's got your nucleus, it's got your Golgi, your ER, your mitochondria, um, vacuoles all of the organelles that we've talked about. Um, so, whenever we talk about this cell, the eukaryotic cell, we're talking a lot about animal cells, which you are made of. So, to remember what a eukaryotic cell is, is eukaryote, or sorry, you have eukaryotes. All right, so you have eukaryotic cells. Now, one of the main differences that you need to know is that um, the prokaryotic cell does not contain a nucleus. Its DNA is kind of, you know, bundled all together. Um, it does have, they both have a plasma membrane, both have cytoplasm, but the main difference that you need to know is that eukaryotic cell has a nucleus, prokaryotic cell does not have a nucleus. And you'll see like a lot of bacteria, I believe this is E. coli, um, that are considered prokaryotic. But today, we're going to mainly be talking about eukaryotic cells. And the eukaryotic cells we're going to talk about are called protist. All right, so protist, and this is something that you need to know, these are the eukaryotes. Um, so they have a nucleus, but they cannot be classified as animals like us, um, plants like palm trees, or fungi um, like yeast. Okay, so Vocabulary words you need to know. We've kind of mentioned this earlier, um, but a unicellular organism is an organism that is only made of one cell. So we are considered multicellular. We have a bunch of cells, and we can't just live off of a skin cell. We, we are made up of a lot of, scale, uh, a lot of cells. But a unicellular organism, we're going to talk about four of those today, they are just one cell, just one and they live on their own, which is pretty awesome. Um, we talked about the prokaryotic cell. This is a cell that does not have a nucleus, and the eukaryotic cell is a cell that has a nucleus. Other definitions. You're gonna need to know, you're gonna see this word locomotive, especially on the end of grade test. You need to know that locomotive means to move. So these are things that the organism has to help it to move. Like our locomotive structures, what do we use to move? Our feet. Um, but these organisms have, they don't have feet, they have the flagellum and they have cilia. So the flagellum is this long tail right here. Um, and it helps the organism to move. This is actually a euglena. And it also uses cilia, um, small hair-like projections, um, that's the little hair right here, and you're going to hear me go, Celia, um, is on a paramecium, which is what this is right here. So flagella is the big long tail, and the cilia is the little hair. All right, then another one is pseudopod, and this word actually means false feet. Um, this is temporary projection of the cytoplasm. Is this right here. So this is actually what, um, this is an amoeba. This is what amoebas use 
um, to move as well as to eat. And in this picture here, you can actually see um, that it is forming the pseudopod to gather its food right here. Now what you need to know about pseudopods is they're not always there. They kind of form. It is a temporary. So they kind of open up, make the little pseudopod eat, and then there's kind of a big, big blob after that. Alright, so we're going to talk about these four single-celled organisms that we need to know. Um, write down the words in red because these are very important. Okay, so first one we're going to talk about is the eucalina. This is the one that has the flagellum. All right, so it moves by flagellum, the long tail. Euglena is known for its unique feature, the eye spot. The euglena contains chloroplast, which you remember is what um, or is where photosynthesis takes place. However, remember this is not a plant. This is considered a protist. Um, but some protists actually have chloroplasts where they can um, complete photosynthesis. So what does that mean? It can, it can make its own food. All right, euglenas are common in freshwater, and the euglena does not contain a cell wall. So remember, it's not a plant. Um, it is a protist that does contain chloroplast. So once again, it's found in calm, fresh, and salt water. Now, one thing that you do need to know is that the euglena is autotrophic. It can do photosynthesis, but it also is heterotrophic, and that's actually spelled wrong. You can mark out that S. Um, but it can make its own food, but it also eats other things. It has features of both plants and animals. All right, the amoeba is my favorite because it looks like a sparkly blob. Um, but the amoeba can change shape. It is heterotrophic. It eats bacteria, algae, and other protozoa. Um, also remember, heterotrophic means that it cannot make its own food. It has to eat. Um, it reproduces asexually which means it can split and make another amoeba exactly like itself. And it can survive forcible division. So if we were to cut this amoeba in half, it could survive it. You can have two amoebas. Now, I did tell you that um, the amoeba has to eat its own food. So I like, and it uses pseudopods to do this. So I like this little cartoon here. Amoeba hugs are often fatal. All right, paramecium, and I mentioned paramecium earlier because I said paramecium mubacilia. So this is the most complex and specialized of these protists, and it moves by cilia, which remembers the hair-like projections. The paramecium can move about 12 body lengths per second, so it can move pretty fast, and I remember this because of the shape of a pill capsule. Paramecium and pill both start with a P. It's heterotrophic, meaning that it eats its own, it eats its own food. It's relatively large. Um, it, you can find it in pond scum and fresh water. And the paramecium also contains two nuclei. The paramecium uses cilia to um, be able to eat into their oral groove. Um, and they like to eat things like bacteria, algae, and yeast. Um, the paramecium also has an, a stiff elastic membrane that gives us a shape, which is covered in cilia to help it move. Remember, cilia helps it move. So, another corny joke. What did one paramecium say to the other paramecium? Hmm. You're sillier than me. All right, the last one, this is my second favorite, is the volvox. This is actually um, a bunch of one-celled organisms that can be put together to act as one multicellular organism, but they can survive independent of the colony. So each one of these dots represents one volvox, but you can put it, they can be put together to move as a multicellular organism, which is really cool. Um, and it is a spherical colony made up of about 50,000 cells. Now this is the other one, so remember the euglena contain chloroplast and so does the volvox. So they are both green because chloroplast contain chlorophyll um, and they can also make their own food. Volvox um, is a type of green algae, lives in some freshwater habitat, habitats. Um, it can use the flagella to swim, 
These do have eye spots, but mainly the euglena is the one you're going to think of when you think of flagellum. And the one that is known for its eye spot is also the euglena. This makes food by photosynthesis, which makes it autotrophic. So let's have a quiz here. See how much you remember. Which single-celled organisms moves by flagellum? If you said A, euglena, you are correct. Which single-celled organism moves by cilia, or hair-like projections? If you said the paramecium, you are correct. Which single-celled organism uses pseudopods to surround and engulf their food? If you said the amoeba, the blob, you are correct. Which single-celled organism is a colony of ciliates of which some contain chlorophyll? Remember the colony? If you said D. volvox, you are correct. Which single-celled organism has a unique feature of an eye spot? The eye spot starts with E. If you said A. euglena, you are correct. Which single-celled organism moves by cytoplasmic streaming? The blob itself, the amoeba. Last question. Which type of single-celled organisms have chlorophyll? And I did click too quick, click too quickly, but you will see that the answer is euglena and volvox, the green ones.